This is the game. Oh my uh, goodness! Is the Isn't it amazing? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is where the lift comes up. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Yes, everyone, welcome back to coolcapetravel.com for fun and informative travel videos. I am super excited about today's tour of the magnificent Boeing 747 Special Performance. This is one of the world's most incredible airliners and South African Airways, which was the largest and most advanced airline on the African continent until the mid-2000s, got five of them in 1976. SAA, Pan Am and Iran Air were the development customers and SAA got the first one, which set a record for the longest non-stop commercial flight in history on its delivery flight from Seattle to Cape Town in 1976. It held this record for 10 years. When it was launched, the SP was the fastest and most luxurious way to travel after the Concorde and the SPs gave South African Airways a global non-stop flight reach. They were cutting edge, incredibly well built and over-engineered and set the standards in aviation back then. NASA still uses one to this day as a flying observatory. Today we are in the fabulously capable hands of Margaret Bossoff who worked for South African Airways from 1980 to 2019. Everything tripped. Okay. Um, Sorry. Wow. Business class, okay? Yeah. Up until that curtain. Yeah. Is um, to the front. Is yeah, business she didn't class. Have a first class. Her first class is upstairs. Okay. Okay. Come and have a look. This is so unbelievably spacious. Yeah, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> and you know, in this time, this aircraft, of course, is from 1976. Oh yeah. The the Lebombo 71. This one's 76. So. In her time, she was very luxurious. Yeah. Today, you know? yeah, yeah, so of course, it's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this was like the ultimate yes. um, way to travel. Look yes. at this. Wow. Eight seats, first class. First class. <laughs> they weren't the lower flat like La Bombo had. They were just the seats with the footrest. Uh, what, what did La Bombo have? The... La Bombo's got a lower flat. Oh, a lower flat. Yes. Oh, yeah. And this one, she reclined. Um, She reclines, but oh, there's no power now, so I can't. Oh, okay. If I can do. Oh wow. Okay. You see, that's about. Yeah. Your foot rest comes out. Oh, okay. Or lift out like that. That's a pretty decent recline. Yes, <laughs> it's not bad. Hey? Yeah. Wow. So look at those. So that's your manual. Yeah. Override, and this is what your passenger would be using. Ah, oh, okay. So. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did it have TVs by the time it retired? No. Yes, he has the TV. Oh. Amazing. Let me just see. Oh, that one's tight. Anyway. Let me see if I can get this one up. Let me try one of these. Let me control it. Because it should, it should come up. I'll show you on La Bombo. It's exactly the same. That's, of course, an Astro. Yeah, Astro, Because yeah. we could smoke until the early 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it just pops up like... Yes, you know, like you press it and it's got like a little clip. In there. Oh well, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, so I think maybe the engineers have done something. You know they do. They force because people break stuff. Break stuff. Yeah. So, there we are. so eight seats in first class here on the top yes. deck. And this would be our galley that we would serve from. So of course we've got everything here. Your boilers, everything. Yeah. Trolleys. Wow. Your fr uh, fridges, sorry, fridges. And okay, so you'd serve a first class meal from this galley. You'd serve a first class meal. You would oh. have trolleys in here. Yeah. Then you would take the trolley, you would lay up your trolley. Oh. A foldable trolley. You don't use these. Okay. It's a foldable trolley. So you would come out with your trolley all set up. Your galley person would set it up with everything. And then you would come in here and carve everything for the passengers. Yeah. So it was a silver plate service. 
right next to their seats. Wow. <laughs> so they're very spoiled. You know, their caviar, their roast lamb. It was carved in front of them. The ice cream cake was cut in front of them. Oh, wow. so, <laughs> it was luxury. Yeah. And is, is it this area where you would like do all we your preparations? Would, like, do all the preparations. So these would be the trolleys. You see, oh, I see. Trolleys, and we would set them all up. Then we would um, white tablecloths, so, yeah. you know, everything. Uh, Silver. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, everything was china. And you would set up the table. Of course, in those days, we would lay the table. And it would be all the knives and forks from the outside in. And you would have all the glasses from your port to your water glass. Yeah. Port, sherry. White wine, red wine, water glass, all laid out on the tray yeah. table. So I mean, it was really. It was and it was called Blue Diamond First Class in the right. 80s, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. yes, Blue Diamond, and it was very special. Yeah. Because the crew were trained. Yeah. So to work because you couldn't fumble and drop stuff in the on the you know when you're <laughs> serving. So we did. You know, it was really. I mean, it was an absolutely amazing service that we did. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's something that I uh, look. If we had to fly with um, first class nowadays, of course you cannot compare it. But no. for, its, for that time of, the, of our lives, in that decade, it was the most. It was, it was the ultimate plush thing. Yes, yeah. It was. No, this is amazing. Amazing. You can go to go and have a look at the cockpit. This is where the cockpit crew would, the cabin crew. And the cockpit crew would sleep oh. over here. And this is our escape hatch. Oh, yes. That's where, from the upper deck, that's where we would escape. Oh, ah, okay, okay. And this is where the cabin crew would sit. Oh, okay. What's that? The slum storage It's one. part of the door. Oh. It's also part of this door. This, when it opens, it's a special mechanism. It moves all the way back here. This is a crew rest? Yes, that's for the flight deck. Wow. And the cabin crew were here. Oh, so, okay. So, the um the crew, uh, cabin crew there, yeah. Yes. And then there's the flight. So, um... Oh, look at this, all the manuals as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's here. She's here. Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Let me just zoom in a bit there. Amazing. Now, it is. It's um, totally different to what we have looks like today. And this aeroplane was... Um, she changed the world, basically. Yeah. The 747, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the, the, um, the, on, the, on Le Bombo, the, is the upper deck is larger than Le Bombo. This is a special version, isn't it? So This is the special performance. Okay, yes. yeah. The SP stands for special performance. Yeah. She flies higher and she flies faster. Okay. So that one flies at 37,000 feet. This one will probably reach about 40,000 oh, oh. feet. And it would probably fly... It will, because of that, it can fly faster. Oh, okay. And, of course, more fuel efficient than the Le Bombo would have been. Because it's smaller. Yes, yeah. and well, we used to love it because if the captain said we make enough time, we did. Oh, <laughs> because she flew so oh, fast, okay. so we loved it. <laughs> and then, um, and what, um, uh, which routes did this with the SPV um, the version SP, be on? We did. Um, look, we did Australia on her. We did Tel Aviv. We did Greece. But so all most over. Of our, most of our European. We didn't London, not so much. The the super bees went to London. But this one we would do Europe, okay. like Lisbon, whatever. But most, I'd say the most I flew on this one would have been to Australia, actually. Oh, well, okay. For me, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Wow, this is a beautiful cabin. Look at that. Yes, isn't it just? Look at the lines. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And of course our projector. Yeah, but did where you, was it? Yes, oh, the oh, look, there's a screen there. Oh, so they did have main screen yes. movies as well. I if I can pull it down. Sh you shall I try? Shall I just turn it? <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. Let's see. <laughs> okay, there you are. Oh, it's wow. not massive, but it's there. It's there, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. Did it not like... Oh, is it, yeah, it's fixed. Oh, yes, yeah, it's fixed. Yes. Okay. So, of course, we used to bump our heads. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Go into the <laughs> <laughs> wow, how times have changed, eh? It is very much so. Oh, three. So, you've got <laughs> six, okay, six bunks in there, yeah. Yes. Okay, and then this is like there's just a, a service station. This is a service station. That's duty free, yeah. Duty free, we would it would be for us to lock our money away because we would have had petty cash. Yeah. So it would be locked in there, okay. and our duty free trolleys would be here okay. for duty free sales. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> right, this is where the stash was basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, of course, is the toilet. Don't take the broom. Yeah. But that's all closed for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for let me take that out. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah. This one's actually better. <laughs> Take that one, it's nice. Oh, cool. Do you know that people used to use the toilets, that's why they take it down? No! Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is a plate warmer. So for first class, this is that we would warm the plates. This oh. would have to come 
We'd come and fetch it here and take it upstairs to first. All oh, right. So this is yes, okay. Yes. Amazing. Kitchen, yes. kitchen. Yes. Okay. Our kitchen is down the side. Oh. There. And then this also. Also, just storages for bins with your wines and your your alcohol that okay. you have to restock your trolleys with. Okay. 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 This one here was also for, for, I can't open it because the latch is broken, but in here was also trolleys for with food and stuff. Okay. Okay. If you Amazing. go down here, you'll see our kit. This is the game. Oh my this goodness. Is, yes. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yes, you love working in here. This is like a... So you've got a coffee maker, yeah. your fridge, these are chillers, uh -huh. all your trolleys, your trash can, all your trolleys. This is just, this is a shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I imagine she's great. And then these are your ovens. This ah. is Chiller's ovens with the little bookies. Oh, well, yeah, the sp <laughs> flying spring box. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your galley for your business class. And I mean, wow, <laughs> I can't believe it. You eh? can't bump into each other here. Yeah. <laughs> this um, is the lift. You obviously didn't know, see that upstairs, I didn't show you. Oh. The lift that takes the trolleys upstairs. Oh, wow. So we, you must actually film that as well. This is a lift, and it's only for the trolleys, no uh -huh. passengers, of course. Okay. So the lift, the trolley would go in, and they could take it upstairs to load. Uh, the caterers would load from there. Oh, okay. So it didn't have to be carried. On the Le Bombo, there's only bins upstairs. The 747 Super B. Yeah. So there's no lift on that one. Oh, okay. This one, and then the 300 and the 400 had lifts. Wow, okay. Yeah. Amazing. So that's also quite fascinating. Does this go down into the cargo hold? No, where, it's this here, is the ground level, floor. Yeah. Then yeah. we push our trolleys, then it goes up to the Okay. To upper the, deck. Yes, and is this a little water fountain? That's a water fountain. We used to fill cups. Passengers could fill their cups with water. During the night. We yeah. didn't have bo water bottles handed out. We had a little cup, it was stowed here. Oh uh, yeah. Pull the little cup and have your water. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and this is where your economy class started. Your screen, that would be flipped around, it would be a white screen, uh -huh. and there's your projectors. Yeah. yeah. And so, this is, this is Maluti. She takes 199. 199 um, total people? No, in economy. In economy. So she's got uh, eight. Um, I must just get it right for you, before you should recall. <laughs> <laughs> just get it right. Let me look at, let me check what it is, and then I'll tell you. Let me check. I, I want to test how much leg room there is for me. Yes, Especially <laughs> more legroom than you get today. Look, my you my knees don't even touch. touch. This is amazing. And, and even the seat is slightly wider. Yeah. You'll find your cushion is much thicker yeah. than today. You know, in the back rest. Yeah. They normally they're about that big now. Yeah, yeah. So it is actually This was plush. Yeah, it was plush, it was luxury. Yeah. This one um doesn't have as big storages as what the Super B does. These ones just come down, so but there's more than enough space. Yeah, yeah. You know, for people because you can even put things under your seats on this aircraft. Oh, so there's some okay. files in there. Yeah, there's some files in oh, files and everything. Yeah. Oh, 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 also, <laughs> I don't know. This everything is stowed. You know, yeah, yeah, no yeah. Space to stow anything. And another thing you'll notice, the toilets are far away from the galleys. Yes. You know, which is nice. People aren't standing in your way when you're working with food. Whereas on the Airbus now, we have our toilets are right in our galleys. Oh, I don't know. So it's very really annoying. Yeah. Here. This, of course, is just a coat compartment oh. and a stowage for... Yeah. For the shopping yeah. from London. From London. <laughs> this on this aircraft, I must just tell you, we flew from Lisbon once. And a colleague of mine had bought a dining room suite. It had a, the buffet, the table, the cheese. We carried it on board in this aeroplane. But in those days, we could do those things because, you know, uh, there were no rules. We didn't have our licenses, and so we weren't thrown off because we had a, didn't have, you know, that it was against the rules. Captains and pilots, they helped us. So we had the whole dining room suite on board the aircraft in our crew rest. Wow, but like what? Uh, 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 furniture? Yeah. Wow, okay. Sarah <laughs> so wanted this antique furniture, so it had to come. Oh, okay. It had to come with us. <laughs> Of course, also, this is the galley for our economy class. Ah. Also, a lovely, spacious area. Yeah. And also your chillers. Chillers. And then you've got your ovens on either side. And all your trolleys would be here with all the food. Yeah. Here's all bins. I'll open that for you. So you have bins in there. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Have like your wines and everything so that is also one of the reasons why you have to be quite tall to work on an aircraft i'm short 
but it does pay it does help, help. to be taller because to lift these heavy bins because we would have had 50 wines in that bin oh, okay. so you know to lift it out of there it's quite a you've got to be a bit taller okay so we used to take the lighter bin stand on it and then take that oh, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, this of course is your cabin crew jump seat, the yeah. aft one. This is door four, the last door on yeah. the aircraft. Your interphone system, all your lights, uh -huh. your uh -huh. lighting, and your call bells. Uh -huh, okay. So for resetting call bells if a passenger calls.